How's it going, guys? We have a hyper easy slash pass level vignette here with difficult answer choices. So overall, medium difficulty microbiology question for step one. We could spend 46 minutes talk about every little fucking organism, every detail, every treatment. We're not going to do that. In fact, here on the YouTube under my playlist, I've made lengthy microbiology presentations where 30, 45 minute presentations to talk about all the microbiology in detail. Okay. But for this clip on the YouTube, we're going to stay consolidated, not waste our fucking time. All right. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 15-month-old boy, two-day history of progressive hoarseness and dry cough. Temperature 101 Fahrenheit, respiratory rate 22. Pulse oximetry 96% room air. He has mild oropharyngeal erythema without exudates or lymphadenopathy. A harsh barking cough is heard. Question wants to know the most likely uh, organism slash microbiology characteristics. So as I prefaced with, past level, harsh barking cough, obviously hyper buzzy for paramyxovirus slash parainfluenza virus, okay? Diagnosis is croup or laryngotracheobronchitis. High yield pediatric differential diagnosis for upper respiratory tract infections. If we did a lateral neck x-ray, we see subglottic narrowing, okay? It's steeple sign. Important to uh, contrast with pertussis. Obviously, they can get hypoglycemia and post-tussive emesis along with the coughs, those two details, very high yield. Pertussis need not be pediatrics either, okay? And pertussis can cause a super fucking elevated leukocyte count, 30, 40,000 plus, where it's all lymphocytes. It looks like ALL, okay? That's really high yield. Don't want to get too tangential. And obviously, epiglottitis, hemophilus influenza type B, and we get the thumbprint sign, okay? Often drooling, tripod positioning. Uh, that's a medical emergency, must intubate. This case, we can use for laryngotracheal bronchitis, uh, nebulized racemic epinephrine, or just observation. And paramyxovirus, parainfluenza virus, just an RNA virus that's enveloped. Okay, nothing dramatic, nothing overly sophisticated. It's just RNA virus, it's enveloped, it's single stranded, negative sense, non segmented. Okay, and as I prefaced with, we're not going to spend 46 minutes talking about every little organism here. Uh, I will just quickly mention that. DNA virus enveloped, you should know for US simile that that is herpes viridae, okay? All of the herpes viruses as well as hepatitis B. Uh, you should also know that RNA virus non-enveloped, double-stranded, segmented, refers to rotavirus. And rotavirus is wheel-shaped, okay? Pediatrics, um, watery diarrhea under the age of five, of course. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.